surprises me is most of what the looks at the weapon. I'm playing doing me 2020, 2021 Premier League predictions. Fulham beat Brentford in the playoff final last night, so they're the last confirmed team for the playoffs, uh, for the Premier League, sorry. Yeah. 20th place Aston Villa. I've heard Jack Grealish is off, so yeah. There's, I think Pep Urena retired, and I think he was only on loan to be fair, so I'm saying 20th place Villa. See you later. Sheffield United, 19th second season syndrome. They're going down. They just are. They may have got 9th place last season, but they're not really a Premier League quality team, I'd say. Um, Fulham, 18th. It's just, it's just going to be tough for Fulham to stay up, isn't it? Especially after the last um, Premier League outing, where they finished 18th. Um, 19th, actually, they might have been. Yeah, it was 19th, I think. Anyway, Fulham, 18th. Newcastle, 17th. The, the um, takeover's off. They're not getting Mbappe. They're just going to be getting a, a natural, probably. And that might be enough to keep them up for one more season. Brighton in 16th. Brighton. Right. They're a good team. Not good enough for top half. Good enough to stay up in the Premier League, I would say. Glad Murray's getting on. They've got to get a new striker. Because Aaron Connolly, I don't know how old he is, but he's not the best, is he? And Neil Mopé, he's more of a championship suited striker, I would say. Anyway, West Brom, Charlie Austin is a great Premier League striker. Not like the best, not like top tier, but I would say he's definitely like one, like... I'll say he's mid table where West Brom should be finishing. West Ham, Felipe Anderson, West Ham around 14th, sorry. Felipe Anderson has had a terrible season in London. I thought he was going to have quite a good season this season. I thought he might have got Europe, might have been mid table. But no, they got. So 15th, West Ham got, I think it might have been 15th or 16th, which is not good for West Ham. Um, West Ham used to be fighting for Europe as well. What's happened to them? Leeds, Patrick Bamford is not a Premier League striker. But Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Everton Cavani could do quite well. If they do do well, do they? <laughs> But if they do come in and they do well, um, top half, but I don't think they will come in. Cavani and Ibra to Leeds, nah. Southampton 12th, Danny Ings. Danny Ings. Danny Ings. Danny Ings is a mid table striker, and that's. He got 21 goals, which for like. For. If he was playing for Liverpool, he would only get like five goals. I think the most he ever got in a season for us was like one. And then, yeah, he just rifted off for Southampton. Crystal Palace, 11th. Juan Bissak has not been replaced very well. And Zaha's leaving. Apparently, to go back to United, I've heard. So, yeah. They might finish 11th if. Um, but if Zaha does leave, which I think he might do, they're gonna get rel they might get relegated. But just in case, because I said that last season, just in case he doesn't, I put them in eleventh. Leicester, tenth. Well, I like Leicester, but Jamie Vardy's in his mid thirty, well early thirties. He's just came off a great. He's coming off a great season, but. Like, in the last six months, he hardly ever scored. I think he scored, like, six goals in 17 games. In his last 17 games, which, that's quite, it's quite terrible, isn't it? So, I think they're going to have to get in a new striker, sell off Vardy. Maybe Daniel Mallon from PSV. But, yeah. 
Um, Everton ninth. I think Everton might be fighting for Europe again. Um, uh, but I don't reckon they'll get into it. Europe is this like up here, Everton and about here. So they need one good transfer window. One good transfer window now, and maybe one in January. The, they'll probably finish like seven four six. Burnley. Eighth. Now, Sean Dyche is an amazing manager. I love Sean Dyche. Sounds like he's got a golf ball stuck in his throat, but... Yeah, um... Sounds like every time he speaks, the first word he's going to say is exterminate. Um... But... Yeah... The, they're not really a European team, barely, are they? Burnley are not a European team. I think the last European player this time was Stephen Defoe in 2016-17. But yeah, Burnley are going um, to finish in 8th, I'm going to say. 7th, Tottenham. <laughs> now this is a bit of a downgrade from where I said they were going to finish last season. And that was top, I said. <sighs> Arsenal, 6th. Aubameyang, Stoum, because they won the FA Cup. Lacazette's probably going to stay. Nicola Pepe might get off to a white star, and now they've brought in a, um, a good centre back. Well, they brought him in last season, but they said he could stay at um, St. Etienne for the first season. So, yeah, William Salibia will do quite good for them. Wolves, Wolves, this is the season I say Wolves could push into the top four, but they're not going to, they're going to finish fifth. I reckon Diogo, Diogo Yota will get about 15 goals. Ralph Hibnes maybe about 15 to 20. But not European, like, not Champions League type numbers. Man United. Fourth. They're probably going to take Solskjaer after this season. Especially with the news that Zaha might be coming back. Pogba might be going. But they'll probably bring in someone to replace him. Probably the on about bringing in Sancho, but the deal might be off because Dortmund won 120 or 130 mil. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I say the social is going to be sacked because they might pull out that deal. Third place, Liverpool. We're going to get onto the podium, but we're not going to win the league again. Especially with teams like City and Chelsea already are green deals for players. We've been linked with Mbappe, Dybala, um, Sancho and Thiago Alcanta from Bayern Munich. I think the only one that is coming in though is Thiago Alcanta. That one won't be enough to help us rise to the title again. Man City in second, they've already signed Fernand Torres from Valencia and the young right midfielder. That's not where they need to improve. They need to improve at centre back ASAP. And I see that's going to be a problem for them again. They're going to finish second. First place, Chelsea. They brought in Jack and they've brought in Timo Werner already. I say they're on about Tom Kepper for fifty million pound. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're on about Tom Kepper Arrows of Lager for fifty million pound. I reckon if they do sell that, um, do that, they can get Jan Oblak. Because Abramovich has already got, will already get some money into the club. Plus the 50 million from Arisa Blaga. They'll get Oblak in and then no one's going to be able to stop them. Anyway, if you disagree with me, just write it in the comments below. Oh, who you think is going to be top goal scorer, who you think is getting relegated. Who's getting top four, who's going to win the league, who's going to get Europa League. Who's going to win the FA Cup? I'll put out there. Liverpool to win the FA Cup. Anyway, Wilco out.